promote your brand here at Viral Hip Hop News. Email me, Sam Ant at thehiphopnews.com. No wait, let's go. Into the news that went down today. Uh, yesterday, Def Jam, you know, announced that they wouldn't be dealing with Kanye West anymore. That contract is done. Balenciaga, I think the day before, he lost the documentary. Well, today, the biggest shoe of them all dropped. Adidas said that they would be severing ties with Kanye West. And about an hour after the news dropped, TMZ was the first person I've seen report this happily and coincidentally put that Kanye West is no longer a billionaire. And they had like a smiley emoji there. Like they were happy about that. Not surprising, obviously. But yeah, man, you know, everything is, is it seems like it all falls down for Kanye West. Mm. What are your thoughts, Adidas? Now, remember, Kanye infamous or famously said, you know, um, I think it was on Drink Champs. He said that he could say all the anti-Semitic shit that he wants and Adidas cannot drop him. Adidas dropped him today. Interesting, right? <laughs> Very interesting. This, this this is what I'm taking from this whole Kanye situation. And this is the good I'm taking out of it. At least it got black people and Jewish people together in harmony because they all hate Kanye. I've never seen so much <laughs> vitriol from two cultures about one man in my entire life. But let's keep this in mind, black people, because that's what I am. I'm a black man, so I can talk and speak and relate to us, right? They didn't drop him because he said white lives matter. He didn't drop him because he said slavery was a choice. They didn't drop him for the comments he made toward George Floyd, everything that we are as a culture in an uproar about in regards to Kanye. They dropped him because of the quote-unquote anti-Semitic lyrics and anti-Semitic conversation or comments that he made toward the Jewish community. Those comments being that it seems as though Jewish people have a hand in all black people's contracts when it comes to music. And he also spoke on how it seems as though Jewish people have the power to put you on or disconnect you at their leisure when it comes to our community. And did he prove that correct? Because that, we see what yeah. happened to JP Morgan. We see what happened with Gap. We've seen what happened with Adidas. We've seen what happened with Vogue. We've seen what happened with Balenciaga. We've seen what happened with Adidas. Now, in my opinion, I think Yeezy is on another level when it comes to Adidas and maybe Gap because he kind of foresaw that he or, or, or basically told that he wanted to get about them contracts anyway. And he knew maybe one of the reasons is to get somebody up in an uproar and start getting a hand for us because Adidas was very quiet and then people start putting the pressure on them. And yeah. then today they say, you know what, we're done with him too. And oh, yeah, we own this design. We're going to do what we want. Can't wait to see how that unfolds. This shit is a uh, shit show in itself, man. And, yeah. I, and um, I, I first off, I agree with Kanye, and I'm in support of Kanye. And I don't go home and put up Kanye flags and all that shit, so don't think it's too deep for us. You know what I'm saying? This is billionaire problems, but I just think it's funny, and we're watching how it plays out in real time and seeing people's cards for real. Yeah, and all the people like Ebro, Twalib, Kwali, that are pretty much championing these campaigns to say, look, I told you so. Charlemagne, Duval was hating. Damn. Lil Duval left a hating comment. I'm like, come on, dog. It's like, here's my take on it, though, man. I'm looking at this thing, and when I seen, I think his name is Pierce Morgan or some shit. Pierce something, Brosnan. Do the interview with Yeah, yeah, yeah the, yeah. the Australian cat or whatever. Right, right, right. I looked at his interview and I watched a lot of it, not all of it. I'm like, yo, this dude is nothing crazy about this dude. As a matter of fact, he's doing everything I think calculated. And I think everything he's doing is calculated. Now, sometimes when you do stuff calculated, you can't really, you don't really know what the response is going to be. Like when you're in a chessboard, you never kind of know. But sometimes you do. Mm -hmm. You know that if I make this move, they're going to make this move. Mm -hmm. And I think that in some weird way, he foreseen this happening. And I think this could only be a great thing and a lot of people say how could it be a great thing i mean you lost you know half of your net worth you know with this and that but look like you said he wanted to be done with these companies anyway exactly. why who knows maybe he felt like a slave maybe he felt like who knows what the situation is but my thing is anytime it's an ending it's always a new beginning that could happen now i don't think nike will pick him up i don't think puma will pick him up but rest assured and this is one thing that we need to bank on is the spending power of black people, right? Is powerful. Over $1 trillion per year. And a lot of things that we spend our money on is one, health and beauty project pro products and fashion. We're going in there. We're buying the Jordans. We're buying, even though we, they said we don't have money, we, we in Bloomingdale's. Mm. We in, you know, Saks. Mm. 
We in all these different places. And what do they sell in there? Balenciaga. That's yep. all that stuff in there. So we're consuming this shit. I said earlier, fuck Adidas yep. and fuck Balenciaga. I was going to wear Adidas jumpsuit today. <laughs> but I'm like, you know what, man? If they saying fuck Yeezy, we saying fuck them. And this is the power. We need to really exercise our power. Do I think we're going to do it? No. But Jewish people are exercising their power. So we need to exercise our spending power and follow Yeezy. If he goes to find some independent manufacturer, we still going to buy them Yeezy. Now, they're saying that the patents and all that shit, you don't own the patents. I don't know how deep that goes at the end of the day. But we love them Yeezys. We're going to continue to buy them Yeezys, right? And think about what he did with the Yeezy. Nobody's ever done what he did except Michael Jordan. Nope. Nobody. Nope. I don't care who you talking about. Jay-Z has sneakers. Yep. Dame that all these people have 50. sneakers. Right. 50. Yep. None of them done what the Yeezys did. Yeezys is a direct competitor with Michael Jordan. And Adidas, right, I don't think can stop that. We need, because when you look, you talk about J.P. Morgan Chase, when you're talking about all these independent institutions, all these media companies and stuff, you do have Jewish people at the head, and a lot of times Jewish people that own these companies, and they're allowed to exercise their power. The problem is in black America, we don't own shit like that. We always got to do a partnership deal, or we always got to go sit underneath this person. And like Kanye said, they're under your contract. So, you know, what they do, they grab Nori by the fucking throat and say, you better apologize. They nudge Charlemagne. They nudge Ebro and say, look, man, you better go handle this because... He who, you know, um, you know, pays rules. He who pays rules. So my thing is with the whole situation, I want to see some more independent black companies raised up that can exercise power. So I think this could only be a good thing for Yeezy if he pivots right. Hell, Adidas is famous off the black, off the back, excuse me, of hip hop. Talk to from Russell Simmons to tell you that. Beginning. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It went from Russell Simmons and 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 Run DMC and went dead once they left and dipped off and then it came right back with Yeezy and you don't see an Adidas emblem anywhere near Yeezy but motherfuckers is buying them in the knockoff ones they used to throw in Foot Locker things like that ain't nobody wearing them shit so they wearing them to go ball or go play in the dirt or some shit like that but I want to talk about these hip hop oh the hip hop I guess media or some of the names that you the Ebros the Charlemagne's the Duvals. The motherfucking sellouts at this point. I can't believe it, bro. You know what's wild? Behind closed doors, we ain't gonna name no names, but behind closed doors, we know that they're full of shit. Right. Because behind closed doors, they are agreeing that these motherfuckers are in their pockets and there's nothing they can do about it because the second Nori has a Kanye on for the third time and he says something out of pocket, not only do you have to take it down, you have to apologize. You got to go on 17 different shows and apologize. You got to make sure that you get on this hip-hop platform and this, and you apologize because somebody's in your pocket, somebody's in your ass, somebody got their hand in your back telling you, hey, yo, you better take that shit down or we're going to bring up XYZ from A, B, and C. And you know, oh, shit, I can't let that fuck up my life. We got to get going again. This is the sad part about some of these social media uh, uh, pro black social media people and media and things like that. When it when when it's good and everything is lively and everything is cool, it's cool. But when shit hits the fan and it's time to really stand up and possibly lose a dollar or two or possibly lose a sponsor or two, oh hell no, we're gonna go against the grain and say whatever they want because we ain't fucking up our life, we ain't fucking up our family. You think Kanye ain't got kids? And like I said, these is billionaire problems, right? Don't agree with everything Kanye says, but at the end of the day. He is the only one and has been the only one since he's came out to lie on the sword. It was him that sat right. there live when Katrina was underwater and said George Bush does not care about black people. It was his records that he said, nah, 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 wait till I get my money right. He told you. Because I'm going to show my ass and I'm going to do it for my people. A lot of people insulting his mother and a lot of people doing this and saying what his mother would think if she was here. We don't know because what if they calculated this whole shit together? A lot of people screaming mental health. That's a popular word out here that they've weaponized. Mental health. As if this man is sick. He's made a billion dollars being sick and irrational and was able to <laughs> save a billion dollars being sick and irrational and having all these assets. Man, y'all out here tripping, man. Yeah, tripping. man. It's uh, kind of, he said it himself in a, in a recent interview. He said he likes to cut the grass so you can see the snakes. Mm. But like you said, excellent point. Kanye's been telling you who he was the whole time. He's been telling you, man, even in the songs, you man, he was he, was, he told you about, you know, what was really going on. He got quiet for a minute. People thought he was like everybody else, but he never was. My thing is, where the hell are the Jay-Zs at? Where you at? 
Because you one of them other guys that been kind of telling us too. Yep. And been kind of standing on this thing and you bailing people out of jail and, you know, you going to Cuba and you, you know, you doing these little quasi revolutionary things. But when it comes time to speak up, your mouth is shut because they see, I think, see what people understand, what black people understand 100 percent is what the they understand power, bro. And they understand that we ain't really, we have it. We don't know how to exercise it, mm. but they know that other people are going to exercise their power. Remember, maybe a week and a half ago. We was talking about this, and we like we said we was like, yo, they gonna start, you know, stripping shit away. Who would have thought Adidas? Who would have thought Balenciaga? Who would have thought you know his documentary and all this stuff, Def Jam, all this stuff will be stripped from him? Some part of my mind thinks that he wanted all of this. I don't think he's that stupid. I mean, he's been watching the cancel culture. He's been observing stuff. Some part in my mind thinks that, man. I don't think he, because he wants his woman back. I don't think he has no mental health issues. No shit like that. I don't, I don't buy that, bro. Me either. I think it's calculated. I don't know right. why. I don't know for what. Me either, right. I don't know the next play in this chess game. You know right. what I'm saying? But I'm damn sure watching, and it is no accident. He is not dumb. He sat in some of the meetings with the 1%. You don't become a billionaire and not sit in a few meetings and understand a few things or two that a lot of us common folk ain't privy to. This shit, he ain't dumb. I don't know what's going to happen, but he ain't dumb, and he's exposing a lot of cards from a lot of different people and how they feel. It was it was on their personalities within this black culture calling that man a Nazi today. Y'all Ooh, look it up for name yourself. Him. Name him. It was Charlemagne on The Breakfast Club. Call wow. him a Nazi. He said he's a Nazi, bro. All right, so what you call said the same thing, Twilib Kweli. And these are people that we've respected. These are people that we went to bat for, and then we just got to call a spade a spade, and it is what it is. What's up with the fuck shit? A lot of y'all... Wrote for Dr. Lewis or, or minister, excuse me, Minister Farrakhan, right? What is he saying any different than Kanye? Kanye quoted Minister Farrakhan. Yeah. So y'all go with the minister because it looks good and it's pro black and it seems good. But when you have a hip hop artist as Kanye, when he goes a little off the rail, but y'all deem that mental health, now all of a sudden he's an anti Semite. What side are y'all playing on? I don't know, man. I mean, who owns iHeartMedia? We can damn sure know who, who owns that. Hot 9 7. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Who owns, you know, all these different companies, man, it is easy to see. Like, you think that you got power. You think that you got this, but you really don't. But still, the people like Kanye West understood that he was going to lose. Like, what other person is going to stand to lose 600, what, billion, $600 million pretty much overnight mm -hmm. within minutes to stand on something, to stand on his principle? You only could commend it. Again, we don't agree with everything he says. No. But I... You know, something about that, you know, when somebody stands on something, I'm like, okay, that's some real shit. And he's standing on it. I don't know where it's going to go. To me, if I was him, I would not apologize at this point. I think it's beyond that. Stand on your shit. Move your company. And if you can come out of this and still sell your Adidas somewhere else, I mean, your, uh, your Yeezy somewhere else, people are still going to buy them. You can say, fuck everybody. Dog, if I had $140 million and I was worth a billion, I'd say, fuck everybody. Yep. I would say, what the fuck I want to say, I would not care. Yep. I promise you I would not care. That's a fact. You know what I mean? We, we damn sure don't, we don't care now. Don't care now. On some real shit. We know certain things, you know, we ain't, that ain't really in us to really say, but Word. shit. You know what I mean? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck <laughs> y'all. And here's the last thing. This is the last point I'll make. Yeah, you make great points. Great show. Ain't nobody condoning hurting a soul. If he came on exactly. there in this exactly. platform saying hurt somebody hurt a group of people let's get out there and rally up and hurt these group of people wouldn't be on here vouching for it that's not what that man said but that's what the narrative is being stared as and it just has to make you think so let's as a people think for one second you can disagree with george floyd comments you could disagree with the white lives matter shit even though i think that was a strategic move you can think and, and get upset about right. slavery was a choice even though i think that was a strategic move as well but let's kind of pay attention to what's going on as a people and let's do that a little bit in silence because our voices are the, the strength and the, and the weapon out here that really move this shit. And you think these white folk and these people in power position ain't looking at black Twitter and things like that and seeing what oh, yeah. we're talking about sure. and riding that as the excuse too. So let's think. All right. Indeed. Now, I want to talk about uh, Brittany.